Hello guys, it's Tech Infusion here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're just going to be talking about the differences between iMovie and Final Cut Pro. Now this video is requested by Animal Jam Lego videos, so um, we're going to go ahead and get into it and answer that question for you. So first of all, we're just going to be taking a look at the different interfaces to start this off. Um, of course, I'm going to display the comment real fast uh, where they asked for me to do this video. So um, now on the screen you can see it, and yeah. Um, so now we're going to take a look at the interfaces. First with iMovie. Now iMovie is a lot more uh, simple and just more intuitive to use, uh, definitely for the base user, while Final Cut Pro is more professional and has a lot more features to give. Uh, of course, that being the reason why it's like uh, really expensive compared to iMovie, which is free after you buy um, a Mac or any like an iMac or MacBook Pro. So, um, taking a look at the iMovie interface here, we can just see the import and new. I mean, all this is so intuitive. They have everything that you need to know underneath the icons. And right here, we can look at theaters. We can click new movie right here. It will guide us and help us um, and give us different themes. So say we wanted um, just, I don't know, bright. Let's just create that. And we can just call it i movie versus final cut pro Thanks. there we go just like that so now we have our project and we can go ahead and start to import media and click and drag it in um transitions we don't have too many transitions here but it is good for free software i like using this one a lot right here the mosaic and then we have titles which is pretty good for free uh, like i said before um, this one's pretty cool, actually. It's kind of professional. Um, then we have these. Is what I these are what I really like here. You actually do not have these in Final Cut, where you can add a destination on the world and then draw it to another one. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just demonstrate one of these real quickly to you uh, once it's done doing whatever it's doing right now. Oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's a lot. It's a really simple interface that almost anyone could use, um, and I don't know. I, that's I don't use it to edit videos, but I I would recommend it if you don't have a lot of money to spend on movie editing programs. So um, we have music from our iTunes library. We can click on that. We can see all of our sound effects. Uh, which should be popping up soon. We have a decent amount of them actually for free software, which just is the iLife sound effects. So it comes with GarageBand 2 and all that stuff. Um, GarageBand, as you can see right there. Um, but, anyways, iLife products, uh, GarageBand, iMovie, and so on, um, used to actually cost money. Like, I think this was $19.99 or maybe $9.99. Um, but, the whole package was like $99, and I wouldn't have said that this was worth it unless you use GarageBand and iMovie together, but honestly, it comes free with the computer now, so you can, of course, just use um, iMovie until you don't, until it doesn't do what you want it to do anymore. Um, as soon as you hit that point, I would suggest moving on um, to Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere or something like that. Um, Final Cut Pro, I really, really like it, and we're about to get to that soon. Um, of course, it depends on what you're doing with I iMovie. Depends on what you're doing with it, of course. If you're just throwing together a couple home videos to create a compilation, a whole bunch of videos, then it's fine. If you're trying to create a professional film or even stop motion, I would definitely recommend Final Cut Pro. Um, of course, this can do stop motion, but the process is just so painful and slow, and it, I, I don't like, I mean, the fastest frame rate you can do is 10 frames per second, so I wouldn't recommend iMovie for professional um, films. Of course, you do have to learn Final Cut while this is more intuitive, and you can kind of just open it and use it. Final Cut Pro is a lot better option for me. So don't take my personal bias for it. I would suggest using iMovie and also downloading the free trial of Final Cut Pro, which I'll have in the description um, down there for you to download, and then you can purchase it if you like it. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on to Final Cut Pro. Now, the differences are because... Okay, we're going to go ahead and get a sample clip here. Let's see if I can go to my 
movies here and find one that okay let's just use my intro and outro for explanation here because we need something to show you outro right here let's just use these even though it's not gonna be too much of a film but okay um so when we slide these down to our timeline as you can see right here before i s slide down um that it's actually showing you where the movies and music goes that's all you have just mu movie pictures or music you don't have different multiple layers um, let's go ahead and see if we can pull out a sound effect here um just like that so it has to go here um of course you can overlay a couple of them down here but other than that you can't it just doesn't support multi on top of like pictures let's try to see if we can uh, demonstrate this actually um here we go come on so right here, as you can see, it's really confusing when it comes to let's turn that down to uh, different uh, sequences, and I don't know, I just don't really like it. I don't know, it's just the whole interface is not too customizable on what you have. Um, you you can do picture in picture kind of sort of thing, but it's just so confusing. Um, you have to like select the picture in picture. Uh, effect and then you can move it around on the inside while well, final cut pro you can just transform stretch do all this stuff so we're going to go ahead and move over to there so here we are in final cut pro as you can see as soon as we open it up it's a lot uh, more professional looking um we do have a lot more features that um we don't have in imovie so right here we have the video effects that you can just apply to a video let's go ahead and get this right here you can see a sneak peek into my next video um, black and white, um, aged film, all these different things that we don't have in iMovie. So if you're looking to prevent, uh, uh, produce an amazing uh, professional video, then I would definitely suggest Final Cut. But I mean, of course, it's it's money. It costs like 300 bucks. So if you don't have that type of money, then you can either save up or just not buy it and use iMovie. I mean, I could get away with iMovie, but I don't know. I don't want to get away with things. I want to make a professional video. So um, basically, as you can see, there's a lot of cool effects here, um, especially for stop motion, because I know Animal Jam, Lego videos wanted to make stop motion. So I would actually suggest Final Cut, but you can just use both for free trial on Final Cut. And then, of course, iMovie comes free. And yeah, so you can just use the, uh, that. Um, and see what you think, but I'm actually going to show you a couple things more. Those are photos. Okay, here we go. Uh, sound effects. Right here you can see we have already a lot more sound effects. That's just Final Cut. Then we move on to the iLife sound effects we have in iMovie. Then we have all of our iTunes music like we had before. And then we have our transitions. This is where it gets actually a lot more here. So you can see there's a lot more transitions we have here and a lot more titles. Um, they add titles constantly and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot more cool titles that you can have. I mean, I would definitely suggest Final Cut for more professional editing, but it's based on your preference. So that is, I mean, there's not too much more to explain about this. Um, I'm actually going to demonstrate. Let's see if we can get some media clips in here. Okay, movies right here. Let's get these two clips import them right into there there's a lot more okay also final cut supports a lot more out uh export features um you're gonna get higher quality like 1080p most of the time and as well as like just i'll actually show you in a second here so as you can see right here we can actually overlay as many clips let me get this as many clips as we want on top of each other and like for infinity we can just scroll up forever i mean it never ends. You could do this all day. Like, it's just a lot more customizable of a sequence. Um, I just like the interface a lot better, and it's a lot more professional. Uh, I'm not going to be teaching Final Cut in this video. If you do want to know how to use Final Cut, go back to my videos. I'll have those in the description. I actually created like a 15 part tutorial series on Final Cut. So, once you do decide to get Final Cut, if you do, then you can go and watch those videos to know how to use it.
So then we're going to go ahead and just look at one of the last things, and we're going to look at the sharing. So of course we have different sharing options too. We have Master File, YouTube, and different app, Apple devices. I'm going to show you Master File and just show you what quality we have here. Of course, this is 720p, this movie I have right here of a review I just did recently because my camera only shoots in 720p. But we have a lot of uh, more options here we don't have in iMovie, as well as importing files. Now we can import a lot more files in Final Cut than we can in iMovie. So that is basically the differences. I mean, one's professional base, one is just for the home user. You can try it out for yourself, but I would definitely recommend... Uh, Final Cut Pro if you're getting into YouTube uh, videos because uh, it eventually pays off. Um, it will definitely pay off if you make good quality videos and good videos with good quality, like good quality things in them. So that's basically all I have to say. Thank you so much for requesting this video. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment, subscribe. And yeah, guys, until next time, guys, see you later. <laughs>